Hey everyone, this is Carrie Anderson. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I will talk about how does uh, diabetes affect women. So if you like the video related to my health, my way, I would like to request you all please to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. Diabetes is a chronic disease that impairs blood sugar regulation in the body. Both men and women can develop diabetes, but some symptoms are more likely to affect women. So many of the risk of diabetes affect both sexes, uh, but there are some differences. Around one in nine adult women in the United States has diabetes. According to the Centers uh, for Disease Control and Prevention, this uh, video looks at how diabetes can affect women who is at risk, the signs and symptoms to look out for, and when to ask for testing. So first of all, I will talk about the effects of diabetes in women. So many of the symptoms of uh, diabetes are common to both men and women, but uh, some features are specific to women so oral and vaginal thrush women with diabetes may be more likely to experience a yeast infection or thrush in the mouth and vagina so high level of uh, blood sugar create an idle breeding um, ground for the candida fungus that causes the condition and what the symptoms include that is the sore skin vaginal discharge itchy sensation this perineal or painful sex or uh, white coating on the tongue. If the fungus infect the mouth, people with diabetes are more likely to develop different kind of infection with more severe symptoms and higher chance of complications than people without diabetes. So high blood sugar level in the body affect the immune system ability to respond to pathogens such as bacteria, viruses and fungi. Now I'll talk about the urinary tract infection. That is, the women with diabetes have a higher risk of a urinary tract infection. So in a 2019 review, 12.9% of women started developed a UTI within the first year of receiving a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. So only 3.9% of the men experienced one. Now I talk about these symptoms of a UTI include that is a painful burning urination, cloudy urine, blood in the urine. Anyone with diabetes who has a UTI should seek treatment as soon as possible to prevent further complications such as a kidney infection. So now we will talk about the sexual dysfunction. A higher risk of a UTI or a candidiasis uh, can contribute to a lower sex drive or libido. Other factors can also affect this. Many people with diabetes develop uh, diabetic neuropathy. This happens when high glucose level in the blood result in damage to the body nerve fibers. The impact of this uh, varies widely. It includes reduced sensation in the hand, feet and legs and altered sexual experiences in the vagina. So there may also be low lubrication of the vagina, difficulty with the arousal of the clitoris and having an orgasm, pain during sex, anxiety, all these can affect a person's interest or pleasure in sex. So now I'll talk about the poly cystic ovarian syndrome that is pcos there is a higher chance of having pcos if a person has diabetes in pcos a hormonal imbalance means the ovaries are unable to release eggs properly this can affect fertility pcos is not a symptom of diabetes but a woman with the diabetes is more likely to have it than one who does not have diabetes. So genetic factors may play a role, but there may also be a link between PCOS and insulin production according to the American Diabetes Association. Now the symptoms included in this, the irregularity in the menstrual cycle, acne, depression, fertility problems, increased body weight, skin changes. If a person receives a diagnosis of PCOS, they should also ask their doctor about screening for diabetes. Now, I'll talk about the gestational diabetes that is a temporary condition that affects some women during pregnancy. So effects of gestational diabetes that often resolve after delivery, but a person who experiences it may have a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. So other problems that can arise include labor difficulties, the need for a cesarean delivery, a risk of tearing in the vagina or between the anus and the vagina. So having bleeding after delivery, the baby may be born with breathing problems, low blood sugar, jaundice, there may be no symptoms during pregnancy, so testing is important. 
especially for those who may be at risk if gestational diabetes is present it is important for the doctor's instruction about diet exercise and tracking blood sugar levels so that's all about the diabetes about the women that how it affects women so one thing more i need to mention over here i personally present a small presentation for all of you guys that will obviously help you out 100% i'm sure that will be going to help you out so i'll be sure um, drop a link in uh, description box you can check it out from there and uh, make use of it so that's all i'll uh, definitely come in the next video with my other content till then uh, god bless you all and bye bye take care and more important please do like share subscribe this video with the loved ones so that they can also gain their knowledge about this so that's all bye bye take care god bless